Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play, Mega Man 7. Last time, we beat the first four Robot Masters in the Robot Museum in the tutorial in the intro stage. Something, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the intro stage is something new to Mega Man's, uh, well, Mega Man 7, uh, and into the series, but it was introduced in the X series and continued on to only for two of the games in the series. Anyways, next up first, we're going to start defeating the other four that are attacking the city and also the Wily Castle, so let's go. First up first, we're going to go after Shade Man. Shade Man, I'm gonna read his bio now. Actually, no. Let's read his bio when we start. Hold the B button. When you select, and if you hold the B button, you get a little different. You get a different thing. The mystery, the horror, and keep holding it, and you get an Easter egg. Of this only happens while he's alive. If you, if you fight him while he's alive. And hold the B button when you go in, you'll get a Super Ghosts and Goblins reference, where you get this where the Ghosts and Goblins first theme. Gotta love it. <laughs> Shade Man, Doctor Wily number fifty-five. Weapon Noise Crush, Witness Wild Coil. Why he hates springs, I guess. Oh yeah, that's fair to mention that the bubbles and ice pops the pops the bubbles, and electric mat and electrics destroys the electromagnetics on uh, what's his name? On uh, spring on a junk man. Model after a vampire, Shade Man was originally an attraction of a haunted house in an amusement park before being stolen and modified for battle by Dr. Wily. The mad scientist hoped to use Shade Man to brainwash humans by outfitting with equipment that would enable him to emit particular sound waves, but a wiring mistake is said causing a generic dangerous and destructive sound waves. These powerful sound waves are damaging enough to shape to begin with, but they also reverberate up the walls. If Shade Man begins to absorb these reflective waves, he can attack with even larger, stronger sound waves. He accomplishes an attack called the Noise Crush. And with light beams, he fires from his eyes, which are capable of petrifying his foes temporarily. Shade Man will also use his large bat-like fangs to fly around, dive around, dive upon his enemies, capturing them in his claws, and draining them of his energy. Shade Man is actually not very fond of ghosts, spiders, and other things that might suddenly jump out at him. He will even dive away at the at the bo the baton M48s that occupy his later his later ceiling. Dive, uh, drive away the baton 40. Uh, Okay, M48s that occupy his layer, his layer ceiling. Those may be because he prefers to hang there himself, isolated in darkness. Despite this, Shade Man is said to fancy himself a performer and aspire to become a great singer someday, even though he has poor singing voice. He can do his practice tirelessly, which is practically inseparable from his microphone as a result. And it's practically inseparable. True to, to, to his vampire like appearance, Shade Man enjoys tomato juice and loathes garlic. Alright. That is taken from, exactly, from the Robot Master Field Guide. Hey! Don't taunt me! Anyways, there are some zombies. Yeah, literal zombies in an Eggman game. They jump on with the background. This is why it's a Ghouls and, Go a a Ghouls and Goblins reference for, for him. Because it fits so well. Because he is a Ghost and Goblin. Anyways, depending on the way we go, we can get different things. Anyways, these armor's heads fall off, and yet it's showing the dynamic environments. Of the, which is again one of my favorite things about this game, is the environments. Well, well, one have things we can interact with weapons with, and two, the backgrounds change, and two, and three, there are sometimes uh, the backgrounds are used for enemies as well, like completely. Like this game is extremely detailed. The details in this game that add to the gameplay are so good. And there's the batons, by the way, that they mentioned it in J-Man's bio. Shade Man's a bit of a fan favorite in the series, and I honestly, I, I, I agree, but I love Shade Man, I love Freeze Man more. Shade Man even got so popular as to be a major character in the in the Battle Network series, which by the way, we will be doing this channel eventually. Now, this boss has two different ways to defeat him. If you defeat his eye, you get a different bot, you get a different uh, route if you defeat that pumpkin in the middle of his head. Depends on which one you defeat first. I'm gonna go with the eyes first. We'll go back to the stage afterwards to see Shade Man's real theme, and and uh, the other what the other path. Isn't that hard to beat him? Uh, no, the the Thunderbolt defeats him pretty well. All right, I'll be using Thunderbolt. And you also have to shoot the speed and see that you instead of uh, firing randomly. And there he goes. Depending on which part's defeated, you'll either destroy the wall or the ceiling. And this time you destroy the wall. That's where you want it to go? Smiter. Yeah, 
again, this is a ceiling path. Now, both paths lead to different things, and you want to go through both. Trust me. Anyway, there's these knight, these these enemies that are knights. They hurt like heck. They also, under the full moon, have a tendency to be tra to transform into a vampire. Well, not a vampire, a, wolf, a werewolf. Vampires and werewolves are not the same thing. But you cannot go down both paths and get everything. I need to do both paths separately, so we're gonna go to the path first. Anyways, jump up here and keep going. Yes. I want to show you an easter egg. If you wait long enough for the full moon to go away, because that's the wolves, they turn back into those enemies. Not many people notice that, and it, it kind of, uh... Well, don't pay attention to that, because if, if you wait, you have an easier time going through than the, than the really strong werewolf enemies. On the, other, on the other way. Okay. Here's the thing that we can get on this path. You see Count Wily, uh, apparently, over there. If you use Rust Search underneath him, which is why you want to go here. Ow, screw you. Why, uh, Rush will dig up. The Energy Balancer! Yep, the Energy Balancer is back. It's still be bought if you, if you bought, find the bolt, but it's also diggable. Eh, I can't get that far anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I just want to show that off. Now the other the other part has another has two more things. One a bolt and a uh, and a very important uh, fight. Which I want to showcase. Which is basically an upgrade. And Damn! I was careless! I feel so stupid to have been defeated so easily. Maybe I should give up and leave Wiley to you. No, we are a team! Dr. Lei will be that will be glad to fix you up. Thanks. I'm glad that I have I have a friend like you. And base travel words to Dr. Riley's the Dr. Light's lab. Sorry, wrong doctor. <laughs> Anyways, let's fight Shade Man. Shade Man's pretty cool. Being a Dracula beamed one. Blah blah blah. Anyways, swift. And he's also sporting enough to bow his head for us before the fight. Now, Shade Man, you want to be very careful with, because he will swoop down and try to drink your blood. Yes, and he actually will drain your HP, which is the coolest part about that. Stand still, I think, actually, better. Alright, he'll actually drain your HP if he hits you, which is the cool thing. And he'll use the Petrifying Glare, and then a Sound Wave, which will then reverberate up the wall and power him up. Blong. Blong. No! Ah, oh, don't, don't slide towards him, got it. Ow, it hurts, though. I'm just gonna say, it hurts bad if he grabs you. Like that, like so. It hurts bad. Bad! Okay. I gotta shoot him. Okay, slide away from him. Got it. Okay. Ah, I got hit by the back part of it? Why did I get hit by? Ow, oh, there we are. Be able to hit him. Finally. Oh! Okay. And then he'll land. Usually only takes two swings. I feel bad for Shade Man, honestly. He was never evil. Just kind of scared of his own attractions and kind of a uh, kind of a, a dork, honestly. You know what? he says he's afraid of his. He's a he's a scared attraction who he's a scare uh, attraction who's afraid of his own things. Oh god, he's scared of vampires and ghosts. By the way, wiggle the stick and you can get up earlier. By the way, that. Oh my god. Sorry, there's been a. Oh my god. Ow. Yeah, destroy it. Okay. No! Why did I jump? I held down! I held down? Okay. There we are.
There we are. I straight up held down, I swear. So I'm holding down hard enough. Anyways. I get it. Now most people say Shade Man for last because he technically is last in the weakest order, but I want to do that for the but for the base cutscene. The noise crush generates a destructive sound wave. This one's even. This even one. This one's even more intense. We got the noise crush. Same way how it works in this boss fight. You reverberate off a wall, and it hits you. You get a char You get a charge version of the attack, doing more damage. Useful for boss fights. Anyways, we're going back to Shade Man to listen to the real theme of Shade Man. And go down the other path, which, by the way, is much better than the Ghost of Dolls reference. But I wanted to show it off. You know, for the sake of fun, not. You know what? We'll also show off the noise crash. It's pretty cool coming, but we can find a way to reflect it. There we are. And show it off. The power of birth of it. Those crows. They're so annoying to fight. They're so annoying. <laughs> I hate them so much. Eat that. Alright. Baton, baton, baton. I love this stage, though. This stage is one of my favorites in this game, though. Still, Freeze Man is still above him, but I love this stage. I love this game. Alright. Alright, so anyways, let's fight this thing the other way, to crow through this crap piece of floor. Bonk. Slide under it. Shoot. Thundercracker is a good way to defeat this thing. It's much easier to defeat the chest part, that's the spur, the sphere part, instead of the actual eyes, in my personal opinion. It's much easier to hit. And down it goes. Which then will start flying, while exploding. And crash and explode. Now go over here. Go through this wall and use rush search in front in front of that wall in front of that door. Or you'll dig and find a big bolt. And over here is a a door. Need to nothing. Huh? We'll find. We'll have to do that later, I guess. I think we- oh yeah, we need to, we need to do sh we need to do Turbo Man first. Okay. I guess we'll be back then. I'll showcase the rest of the room, because we- because I'm gonna warp out of here, so I'll showcase the rest of it, just in case there's, like, other parts. Because there are some cool parts of this room, like these candles, which you can- okay. Never mind. I won't showcase the rest of it, because we need this freaking- the, the Turbo Man's weapon in order to do it anyway. Alright, Turbo Man. Who's a car? Champ of the roads. Turbo Man. There it is. Uh, turbo, turbo, turbo. This time, Toad. Uh, top. Uh, tur tornado. Uh, turbo Man. Doctor Wily number fifty-six. Left weak weapon is a scorch wheel, and weakness is noise crush. I guess because, uh, the noise basically loosened the boot- the bolts. When Dr. Wally began to run low on the components for building new tr robots, he turned to his old car for parts, resulting in Turbo Man. Apparently, he owned a race car. True to his origin, Turbo Man is powered by gasoline and features the ability to transform to an automobile. He's more than meets the eye. He's a robot master in disguise! That was not by me. Don't get carried away, baby. That was not a joke by me. That's in the game. That's in the, that's in the thing. Unfortunately, Turbo Man's, Turbo Man's transformation system is complete and is vulnerable to ultrasonic waves, which causes a malfunction and damages his body. On the other hand, a high voltage shock grants him a vulnerable ability to his vehicle. Oh, detail. Another detail. If you use the wrong weapon on him, he needs to become vulnerable. 
Aside from the racing around recklessly, damaging any opponents he collides with, Turbo Man's his primary form of attack is the Scorch Wheel, ring of flames that can roll across the ground. He can also reverse his exhaust pipes on his shoulder to pull opponents in with the suction. Turbo Man is able to quickly transform into and out of car form, but as, at, but as all of his office abilities are also gasoline powered, the rate of his fuel consumption is enormous. When driving, he prefers straight roads and hates bumpy surfaces and flat tires. He likes to use his built-in car stereo to blast loud music as he drives around town, and also someday to get airbags installed. Ooh, okay. So don't get, don't crash, Turbo Man. Guess why? That's why it was an old car instead of a new one. All right. Over here is a basically a uh, what appears to be a a Mauler Joe. Also a Mega Man One. It's a Mega Man Seven enemy. We got two enemy. Literally the same enemy. All right. Let's uh, you know the drill. Thunderbolt. You like something that, that, that something want you dead? You want dead? Use a thunderbolt. Uh, those spikes are instant death, by the way. If you're not careful. Also, those, pi those cone enemies are annoying. Now, if you let the thing live, you can go to a new area over there. I think. But, eh. I may also show it off later. Okay, these tires are... Different. No, actually, don't no, get stuck on the tires, doesn't it? Okay, that's, uh, those are spikes, so be careful. The trick is to do that is use a super adapter. This is just practically built with the super adapter, by the way. By the way. Okay, I see. <laughs> okay, this is gonna start reversing on us. I see. That's what happened with that. That's the area over there. Well, I showed it off. Okay, stop. Let's jump! Okay, I'm just gonna. Reverse that. I, I, I don't want to play this game, I swear. Shooting the times, you can pop, you pop a guy out of his tire shell. Okay, keep on. i head over there, by the way. What now? <laughs> I see. I see that now. Anyways, use Rust Search on this, I think. And you can find yourself an upgrade for the Rush Adapter! This is the Super Arm! The Super Arm basically sends the range of the Rush Adapter to shoot twice as far. First, the little punch that we have, we now have to reach almost the entire screen. Being much better. It also homes, too. We also can go through this wall now. Two. Meet Proto Man! We need to do this first before we fought, uh, well, before we went back to that stage. Mega Man. Have you collected the the R U and S H circuit plates? Plates. No. Cool. But remember, the Super Mega Man armor is too bulky to allow you to slide. Good luck, Mega Man. I'll see you later if you survive. I guess we'll be do we'll do it fi uh, the finale. I guess. Oh, thank you. I guess we'll do it later. I need to go to all the protobun rooms. Anyways, this burning area is dangerous, so be careful. This is why you, this is one thing you should have thought of. for it. Huh. And fall! Okay, now, okay. Because, yes, we are now going through uh, Quick Man stage, I guess. With, with fireballs everywhere. And now we're on a moving truck. I don't know where, why this truck, why, why there's basically a train moving here. This truck is ridiculous to the side, by the way. And over here, we see the, the truck is alive. Only shootable while its eyes are open, so use the Thunderbolt. It also shoots missiles out of his mouth. That's weird. Also, those huge eyebrows. After you destroy it, it basically starts uh, exploding. And we'll, uh... <laughs> Have everything on the side of his head explode. That's brutal. Oh yeah, energy uh, balancer. Oh, say wait, I forgot to switch weapons, and I was like, oh wait, energy balancer, and that's the end of the stage. All right. I forgot something in Turbo Man stage. Oops. Uh, one of the springs in Turbo Man stage, which is uh. Which is the fourth tree, uh, 
Oh, by the way, the fire attacks are the worst attacks in this game, so they hurt like heck. Anyways, jump over. You know what? I'll showcase the Thunderbolt the vulnerability thing. Shoot him, and he'll cut you'll make permanent vulnerable. For a few seconds. He basically super prepared him. Ow. I'm, I'm not gonna do that, I just wanted to showcase that. It's possible. I see how you put the dodge, just a dot, jump forward and then front jump backward. How do you hear the noise? That's when you want to jump. I, never, I finally realized I've dodged this attack. There we are. And down he goes. Turtle Man down! Blast to the back. I nod my head no. No. Anyways, uh... The Scorch Wheel launches a flaming wheel! That's very good! I think tonight's meal will be... will be barbecue, then! Uh, I forgot that I didn't listen- I didn't see the dialogue. I- I wasn't looking at it. You got the Scorch Wheel, but I'm pretty sure it was just like... Ah, uh, sweet, barbecue. Or, I was like, more or less not what it's used for. Now we want to head back to Shade Man's stage. Be right back. Now we're back. Also, you want to be pretty well stocked up on er on energy tanks and go into this room, charge your buster, and head in. If you met him in Turtle Man and Shade Man stage, so so brother, you're not as weak as I thought. Let's see which of us is taller, made stronger. Yep, a battle with Proto Man. Proto Man is much physically. Now, there is no health bar, so you don't have to worry about that, but Proto Man is physically much stronger than you are. His weakness is the Mega Buster. There. He also signs ju Jump. He is immune to every other weapon, I think. He also has his own Charge Shot him himself. Which is what that. that... Ow. We're not just doing this for no reason, by the way. There is a reason for you for one to defeat him. So Boom. Okay, he just went back into his Megman uh set uh three design. A boss fight. I just realized. For a second there. Okay, there we are. Proto Man's defeated. <sighs> Maybe you are the superior model, Mega Man. Here, take this with you. Here, take this with you. Th th this is your Proto Shield! You can't give this to me! You'll die if you get hit! You take three times damage! It's okay, take it. And watch your back. Proto Man, the coolest brother. And we got the Proto Shield. The other thing they can use other than the adapter. We got the Proto Shield. Now, X can look freaking amazing. It blocks some attacks, but not everything. It just looks cool. I'm just gonna say that. It's one of the few weapons that you cannot get through. You can block, uh, but, uh,. So it's certain bullets, but not everything, so be very cautious. They cannot block elemental attacks, but or may, or just an enemy running into you. So be very cautious of that, so you can still die from that. I need that. I need it! It can only block bullets, basically. Anyways, here's what the, what the super wheels can do. Hold it, and you'll have a weapon, that go, a, a flame wheel that goes around you, which will eventually shoot out after a while. Pretty cool. 
Pretty cool, is that? And then we have an elevator. Ride with death. With Dracula! Uh, uh, uh. With Dracula. Anyways. As long as evil remains in the hearts of men. Anyway. I shall return. Oh, but I blew his head off. Pretty brutal, honestly. Very cute. You can see his pro's brain, apparently. Like, robot brain. But brain nonetheless. No, my health. Now be careful, because a robot because a robot will break through that wall. I didn't bother with charge shots. And it'll eventually move up to the area where we a new area where we fought base. Yeah, around here. There we are. And base was here, so we'll put out for this part and head into the next robot master. Probably only fought two. Now I'll have to save uh Wily for another for the next episode. And I'll be right back in Turbo Man stage. Here it is! That's all I wanted to show. For the stage. And you'll dig. And dig, and he'll be the E-Tank. Okay, thanks, Rush, but it's right here, I think. There it is. There it is! Big bolt! How many bolts we have? Uh, about 600, so we're fine with bolts. Now let's get you go to, uh, auto. Right there. Go back, on man. Fire your back. Not the enemy one. Alright, nothing we really want. I see. I want to go to now Spring Man. Yep, Spring Man. Dun -dun -dun. Spring Man! I like Spring Man, actually. Oh, Boyon Yon! Boyon Paradise. That's I get. Boyon <laughs> is the name of a spring. <laughs> also, I love Spring Man's theme. A lot of S shaped robot masters. Dr. Wily, 53, weapon wild coil, weakness slash claw because it cuts the spring down. That's the way the ball bounces. That's the name of uh, its quote. Comprised of over 2,000 springs, Spring Man is a very light robot and, uh, designed by Dr. Wily with extraordinary jumping ability. Despite this remar remarkable design, he finds moving about to be as difficult, particularly where stairs are involved. To be difficult. As a result, he will barely come out of his room. <laughs> Aww. His primary offensive ability is the Wild Coil, wherein he fires some uh, springs that make of his body as projectiles. He will also throw long-reaching punches with his extended arms and grabs his opponents before slamming them to the ceiling. Springman once entered the Battle and Chase racing competition with his car, the surprise boxer. He planned to use the prize money but weighted his clothing in order to make his body more stable. Springman is usually carefree but also tends to be flecky. flaky. He enjoys making high-running jumps, though his fun is often thwarted by troublesome low ceilings. We'll see that in the stage a bit. Fling? That's the gimmick of the stage springs. Honestly, people, a lot of people dislike Spring Man. I love Spring Man. I love him. I can't hate him. He's awesome. I love his theme. I love his. I love his boss fight. His boss fight's fun without his weakness. Just that he's extreme parts manual syndrome. Without his weakness, just fight a lot of the bosses, other weaknesses, and then. They were their boss design is bad or not. Same as Spark Mantle. I love fighting Spark Mantle without his weakness. He's a really good boss. Fling. There it is. It appears to be, uh, Blueprints of the Springs. Is. And also a, a Mega Man, uh, like warning, like warning Mega Man's in the building. Our blueprints. Let's just get the, uh, let's get the Proto Shield for one, uh, the Rush Adapter, so make it really even more crazy. You know, for the sake of uh, also homing bolt, uh, charge shots. Now we reach that part. Uh, hey, where is the is the uh, the giant Bolton Springman stage? Oh, here. There is something in here, but it's uh, which we could use actually right now. Search this area, and you can find a unique item here.
known as a large energy. It's only found here in the game, and it restores your HP to full. That's it. There is a there's another giant bolt here, as there is in most stages in this game. So it's here. Bye boy. Yep, right up the other. Big bolt rush. And get yourself a giant bolt. Also, by the way, we found all the upgrades, by the way, that we can find from Rush uh, Search. All the, other, all the other upgrades are found or bought. So, uh, so we have the RS stuff. Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, it's nothing, apparently. Uh, Rush Decker, please. There is more to get, though. Like, up here. These blocks basically swap, uh, the thing, uh, directions every time you jump off of it. So we, so we want to change it into a, a direction that fits. Okay. Uh, up here. Nope, wrong way. Okay. Nope, wrong way. Over here is a door that if you jump off it three times and aim it towards the wall. Boom! Punches the wall out and revealing the location of Auto Spring! The Hyperbolt! Now Auto can give us cheaper and also better prices in the cheaper and better items inside of his shop. Wing. Now these are two-way springs, basically. Jeez. Ooh, oh my god. No! Frick, frick, frick. Okay. Ow. Wing, 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 wing. No. Wing, wing, wing. No, frickin' what the heck? Touch the side of it. Four. Oh, because I fell. Wait. Anyways, keep continuing forward. Boosh! That's so strong the rush adapter's fist is, by the way. It destroys bu um, Buckle Joe in one hit. And now it's just a battle against. Oh, A Met set. It's all house set. Anyways, the boss fight against Spring Man! Oh, boing. It's head bounces. Okay, you yeah, guys should fight this guy legitimately. Anyways, I'm gonna fight this guy without the rush adapter if you want. Ow, my face. Anyways, he's gonna fire springs at the ground, which do, which do a pretty much a large amount of damage. Let's try to jump into you. you try to spring into the ceiling, as they mentioned before. But yeah, that's the rush, the, uh, the spring, uh, the spring weapon they meant that he has. That he's using right there. And down he goes. Also, the fun fact, if you actually have a charge shot and you fire it, uh, Megma has a recoil animation in this game. It's pretty cool. I don't really pay attention to it in this game. Anyways, we got ourselves a new upgrade. The wild coil launches one coil forward and one coil backward. It can also be charged. If I use these springs on both my legs, my jumping power would increase, and Sir in Super Auto would be completed. And be complete. Yes, Auto wants to be superhero. That sort of thing wouldn't work. You got the Wild Coil, probably the worst weapon in this game. But sadly, it's required one. And that wouldn't be required, I mean, it's important. Also, Slash Man! Ah, you look like an enemy from X4. Anyways, 
Jurassic Jungle Slash Man. Slash Man. Slash Man also has multiple weaknesses, by the way. Okay, that's Splash one. That's not the right one. Solar Man. That's Shade Man. Okay. After Shade Man, after Shadow Man is Sheep Man, Skull Man. There's Slash Man. Dr. Wally number 54. Weapon is a Slash Claw. Weapon weakness is Freeze Cracker. Slash and also. And what's not listed, the Scorch Wheel. Also weak too. Using the Star Droid Pluto as a basis. Yeah, Pluto, yeah. Mega Man 5 happened, in between, happened after uh, Mega Man 2, I think? Also, I think this is my favorite theme in the game. I, I randomly started whistling this at work one time. Using Pluto as a basis, Dr. Wily originally constructed Slash Man to clear away force the construction for the construction of secret bases, but later modified him for battle and gave him an army of robotic dinosaurs in command. Uh, um, unfortunately, his greatly enhanced mobility and preparation abilities means his subordinates are unable to keep pace with them. Claw me and I'll claw thee! Big quote. Slash Man uses a miniature signature long claws for trademark attacks, the Slash Claw, which is the miniaturized version of the asteroid destroying cutter weapon used by state spaceships. He will prepare opponents for the for his assault by dropping goo field capsule that mobilizes them before he uses a powerful charged dive attack to cut them down. Slashman was praised as a fast worker, though his excessively wild nature makes him difficult to work with. He loves fruits and vegetables, but dislikes nail clippers. Though he's not a robot, he toned sudden and drastic changes in temperature. He will hibernate during cold winters and tends to dehydrate in higher temperatures. Yep, as they mentioned. So, let's go. Welcome welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh, let's just shoot him dead. Also, hello, ro log riding thing from X4. Yeah, this game really uh, had a lot of things bar in X4. You know, I should use this. I'll showcase the the thing in a bit, but no, 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 no. Haha. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anyways, here's the wild coil. You can shoot out two springs, or you can hold down to fire bigger springs. You can also hold up to fire the springs higher. Pretty cool. Thought I'd show that off real quick. Oh, uh, this is the force that was mentioned during, uh... Uh... Shape, uh... Also, uh, during Proto Man's dialogue. Also, I think like it's uh, pterosaur or something like that, or pte saur. I I'm not a good. I don't know most of the dinosaurs off my heart. I'm sorry, never did. Even as a little kid, even though I love the ankylosaurus. I used to like the tyrannosaurus, but now I like I like the ankylosaurus the most. <laughs> ankylosaurus. <laughs> Let's show those predator queens boss with a giant mace. Anyways, you can jump up here by the way in order to go into the path. You can also go forward, forward if I'm more things, but anyways, up here is a very is a callback, by the way, to Mega Man 2. Yep, it's the same. Uh, it's the it's the Mecha Dragon reference. I think you know what's the weapon to defeat these guys. Your hits twice, does a lot of damage, and generally is pretty good. Just tank it and destroy it. A freaking Tyrannosaurus Rex. With, with pure lightning. And here's the force weapon. You see these snakes and beehives? They spawn. They spawn these, but I, but uh, you need junk shield to beat them pretty easily. You can get a ton of stuff from these. These, but anyways, use the scorch wheel on the trees. Whoosh! You also burn the forest and burn the forest down. Sorry. Burn this tree with a ton of stuff on it. Alright, this tree over here. With, a no with nothing on it, I see. Lagging the game out, making our sprites disappear entirely. And... A ladder appears! Switch with Rush. Flip up there. Gonna burn the entire forest down, but anyways. Over here is a cage! With beat in it! Shoot enough times, and... I think, uh... The Shoot it with a fully charged Mega Buster shot. Sorry. Pow! And Beat is free to be now he bought! 
beat will basically rescue you from pits, I think. Uh, or will he, or does he do the thing that does the Mega Man 6 and 5? Also, these guys were me blow up, I shouldn't enough times. <laughs> And there's Slap Man. Anyways, be right back. I'm back. Alright. And yes, I will have to do Dr. Wily next time. I might die on purpose to Wolf to Mr. Bootleg Wolverine here. Gotcha. Hello, Diet Pluto Me uh Pluto. Anyways, he basically will drop down a bunch of things and then dive towards you. If you're below him, he'll just drop. He also has unique, uh, hit animation. Ow, oh, never mind, he just, he doesn't. I still haven't learned how to dodge that attack. Alright, did I get Slash Man's thing? I actually don't think Slash Man has a bolt. I think we got well, every one of the unique, uh, items we find on the ground. I like how he has a unique uh, hit animation for you, because he is doing a different thing compared to other Robo Masters. I'm just slashing in half. That, I, I found out how to dodge it. Yeah, it's like towards him. I see. Yeah, I'm just sucking against him. Wow. Wow, I'm just eating hits. There. Yeah, I dodged right into it. Yeah, that was clearly a slide. Okay, I got my foot stuck in the in the sludge. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's a tree sap or something like that. Simple as that. Okay. What? Okay. And now. I see you're not moving, I think. Okay, what the frick am, what am I doing? Okay. Okay, so you're not facing him? Okay, how do you dodge him? I guess. Okay, you'll get lucky, I guess. Hit him twice and he dips out. Okay. <laughs> get off me! Dodge it. You don't want to say how the corners, you stand at him in the middle. But they're mostly dropping. And jump away. <laughs> oh, darn. Try to change. <laughs> And with that, we have all the weapons. The Slash Claw cuts things apart, doesn't it? The Slash Claw cuts, the slash claw cuts things apart, doesn't it? Yes, but it has limited range. It has limited range. You got Slash Claw. But... Oh, what happened? D Dr. Light! What happened? It 
Is that you, Mega Man? Base went berserk after I completed his repairs. He stole the parts for the new enhancements. Uh-oh. Base! I, I can't believe it! B or Base? I can't believe it! Ah, uh, Wily. Believe it, Mega Man! Base and Tremble are my creations! I knew that you would be stupid enough to trust him! And allow him to access the lab! Now, Base and Treble will use the enhancements meant for you! And Rush! <laughs> I'll make you pay, Wily! Anyways, we get access to Wily's Fortress. But before we enter, or next episode. Let's finish this episode off with bases. <laughs> well, actually, I'll save that when we actually face base. So, see you guys then. Have a great day. Bye bye.